morning everybody welcome back to our channel um so today i am going to be heading into town i'm going to be doing a little bit of shopping tonight now today's vlog i'm not going to be with claire because she's in work um and i've got this week off so i've had a little couple of things planned and i thought it'd be really good to bring you along today for a little bit of shopping now you might remember from the beginning of our channel when we did a top shop personal shopping appointment um, so at the time there was a personal shopper in there called Emily and we used to go to appointments with Emily quite a lot and we always enjoyed them and always came away with some really good stuff so since then she's actually gone freelance and um, she's now got her own business so I thought today because I've booked in with a personal shopping appointment with her so it's like a one-to-one -one session and obviously we're not just specifically having to go to Topshop, you can go to any store that's in town and in Liverpool we have quite a good selection of shops at the minute um, so thought I would bring you along today just to kind of show you like the service that you get when you book a personal shopper when you have like one of these one-to-one -one sessions um, and then I'm actually going to be shopping for some new season pieces so this will be the type of things that I want in my wardrobe for like spring summer um, and I'm going to start to like slowly build that up now just get a little bit of a head start on it what is the weather like currently for you because in Liverpool at the minute it's February and it is really warm for February which is a little bit strange but obviously I'm not complaining I'm absolutely loving this um, but it's kind of made me want to get a bit of a head start on my wardrobe just in case we don't go back to like that really horrible winter weather so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today um, and I actually need to leave in a minute so I'm going to finish up getting ready and then I'm going to bring you guys along with me so let's go Okay guys, so I'm in Zara at the minute um, and I've just put on the first outfit that we pulled from the floor. So it's a matching like two-piece set. So it's this little top and these are the details in it. So I absolutely love these like little buttons on the sleeve and it's like a nice like square neck. And then this is the skirt that matches it. Now I absolutely love this set but I will say that the top I love and I think I'm definitely going to be getting this. It's really flattering on and I can see it with like so many pieces that are already in my wardrobe and like things that I'm going to be getting for the summer. Um, but the skirt unfortunately is just really heavy material and I just feel like if you look when I do this it just looks so much better as like if it was a bit more asymmetrical if it was a little bit higher up on the leg. Um, so although I do love the set and I think that both pieces are really nice I just don't think I'm going to be going with the skirt which is a shame but I love the top and I think this is my first successful purchase of the day right guys so still in Zara um, got outfit number two on so I've kept the little top on that I had on before with the little button detail and then I've put this like really nice um, I don't know if it's tan or I think it's more of a tan colour um, so put this on over top and it's quite like oversized on the sleeves and then obviously it's got this little tie on the bottom and then put it on with these black leather trousers these like a faux leather um, and they have like a elasticated waistband and it's got a little bit like paper bag so together with this outfit I absolutely love it so just throw on with some converse for like a casual look um, but each of these items like I think they just work so well like as this outfit but also with things again that I already have in my wardrobe um, and can easily be dressed up for the night time as well with like a nice strappy black heel so I'm very very happy with this outfit and I'm going to show you the back this is what it looks like from the back but yeah I'm very excited to start wearing this and hopefully the weather stays amazing um, I love it so very successful first outfit in Zara and let's go to the next shop
Right guys, so as you've seen, we've just come into and other stories. Um, I've already tried on one top already and I forgot to film it, but it's this. Um, it's like a burnt orange cami. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm going to be purchasing this because I've just tried it on and it looks amazing. But this is the second item, oh, second item that I've tried on. Um, so I've seen this online and then wanted to try it on like obviously if they had it in store so it's just a plain black high neck top and as you can see on the cuffs it's got like that kind of like beige contrasting colour and then it's also got that same colour running down the sides it's split open on the side and it's like a little bit longer on the back and then obviously a little bit shorter at the front and then I don't know if you can see this but it's got this little like tie at the front um, so you can kind of play around with that and just like tie it at the front, take the tie off, maybe wear it to the back as well. I'm very happy with this item because it looks amazing on the model online and it's very my style. It's very easy to wear and like it's going to go with so many pieces. So this is another amazing item from today. And other stories have got a lot of really good stuff in at the minute. So if you've got one in your city then definitely go and check it out. I've got one more top to try on which I'll show you what it looks like after. Um, so yeah, let's try that on. Okay, so final item that I'm trying on in Ands of the Stories is this black. It's almost like a satiny, like silky kind of shirt. Now, I thought this was going to look really, really nice on because um, it's the type of thing that I would go for. So we're actually wearing it back to front just because at the back there's a little bit of like a keyhole cut out and I'm going to just show you really quickly um, I know you can't see that So it's got that little bit of a cut out at the back um, So we've brought it forward and it's just not quite sitting right on the neckline um, but it is a really really nice shirt. It's got some gorgeous details. So if you look on the sleeves there They've got like these nice little ties with like the tassels. Oh, it's not picking up Focus, here we go So you can kind of like cinch in and like pull in the tassels just to make them like a little bit tighter um, It's a shame because it's a really really nice shirt and it actually looks quite nice on the way that it's meant to be worn but it has like these little poppers on the front and it just kind of makes the shirt like a little bit bumpy um, so although I do love it I'm definitely not going to be purchasing this one but if I can find something similar then amazing I'll probably get that instead but I'm going to leave this one definitely Okay guys, so just popped into H&M, um, had a little look around and picked out this check blazer which is in this like really nice grey, just like basic check. So I've just turned the sleeves up a little bit on it so you can get like the contrast of the white against the grey. Um, I love this blazer and I've been after a blazer like this for a little while but I haven't really found like the right one for me. This is only £35 which is amazing price for it. Um, it looks actually better quality than what it is and I have seen some in other stores but they're obviously like a little bit more expensive like more than like the £100 um, so for £35 this is amazing I'm actually going to be purchasing this because I've been after one for so long um, so I definitely think I'm going to be getting this but even just with this outfit just like a basic outfit to go out in the day and then obviously you can still dress it up for the night time so I'm very happy that I found this but in terms of what was in H&M there isn't a lot that's like really jumping out at me at the minute so I'm just going to be getting this today but I've had a very successful shop and drift so yeah I'm very happy with this Hi guys so I've just got home from my shop and drift today with Emily and I just wanted to say a massive thank you to her because I did get some really really nice stuff today and to be honest the majority of it especially like the more orangey tan like rusty colours not really a colour that I would normally go for in fact I don't have any of that colour in my wardrobe so that's one of the things that I wanted to look for today 
was to inject more colours into my wardrobe now that we're going into like more the spring weather um so i'm very glad that she's picked out three of those items for me um so i would just say today was like very much a success so we shop for a total of two hours and honestly like you don't think two hours is a long time but the things that i bought today and the fact that i knew what i was looking for and we could kind of just keep going and going into different stores and just kind of eliminate everything that you know i wasn't after because we went in for like very specific things um so two hours was definitely plenty so i am gonna do a little run through of everything that i've bought so you can kind of recap on everything that i tried on earlier but like i said i was very very happy with the day shopping trip i'm actually gonna book emily again for the more high summer stuff so things i'm gonna be taking on holiday things like that um so if you're in liverpool definitely check her out i'm gonna leave your details down below so you can check out like her instagram and her style and like how her service works but i've obviously been seeing her since she was in topshop and i kind of knew that when she went freelance i'd still be booking into her service so i would definitely say if you're in liverpool or even in a surrounding city definitely book in with that and if you can't actually get to liverpool she also does like online services as well where she can pull outfits and like send you little lookbooks and things like that Okay guys, so the first item that I picked up from Zara is this little top, little square neck top. Um, so it's in this like really gorgeous, I'd say it was kind of like a biscuity kind of colour. Um, there's a lot of different colours running through as you can see. Um, and it's kind of like knitted and then it has these gorgeous buttons on it which was something that really sold this top for me um i love this kind of neckline where it's like i don't know if you can really tell on here but it's kind of like a square neckline that's really flattering for me um and then in terms of the length it's quite it's not cropped but it definitely falls just above like your jeans or your shorts that you're wearing um and then as you can see here i got it in a size small and it is 15.99 and i'll just quickly show you the back um so it's just very plain on the back but i'm really excited to wear this one and i think i'm definitely going to be like layering it and wearing it on its own all throughout the summer and i think for the quality of it 15.99 is amazing so i'm very very happy with this purchase okay so next up from zara we have these little black faux leather shorts so these are in a size extra small and they are 19.99 now as you can see on the waistbands um obviously you've seen this in the store but it's picking up a little bit better here but they're like a paper bag waist and then you've got like the elasticated waistband and then if we just move this label you've got like the three little buttons um they don't actually open they're just for show but of course we love a pocket so i'm very happy that we have pockets for this um just a very casual or dressed up pair of shorts and i think definitely an item in your wardrobe that'll just go with so many things and again i did get them for spring summer but i can be wearing these all through autumn winter of this year um and then i feel like they're gonna last me hopefully until next year as well so for the price i'm very very happy with them i'll just quickly show you the back so on the back we just have two more pockets and these are just like a fake pocket as you can see they're just like stitched up there um but yeah another another great purchase and such a great price as well for zara okay and then last but not least this is the final item that i picked up in zara so this is like a slightly oversized um it's like a brownie colour and then it's got the white contrast stitching collar. Opens up into a V and then we've got obviously the buttons which do open as well. So if you wanted to wear it open you could. And then we have like the little tie at the bottom. And let me just show you. So I got a size small in this as well, and this was $25.99. So a really great like layering piece for the summer. Um just quickly show you the back. So as you can see, it's just very plain at the back. But again, it's one of those items that you can just throw something on underneath it, wear it on its own. 
um, really great for layering. I'd wear it with those shorts. In fact, if you look at my Instagram, I'll leave a link to it down below. Um, and I did put this outfit together on there. I really love this item. I didn't, wouldn't normally go for this colour, but I'm very happy that, um, that I picked it up. So yeah, this was my final item from Zara. Okay, so then we popped into And Other Stories. Now, And Other Stories is one of my favourite shops in Liverpool at the moment. It's very new to the city, so it's definitely one that I'm like checking out at the minute. This item I actually seen online, which I think I mentioned earlier, um, and it's probably one of my favourite pieces that I actually bought from this shopping trip. Um, there's just so much detail in it, like you have this kind of colour underneath which then pokes through on the sleeve and then also on the sides of the top so you've kind of got that like like nice contrast to it. Um, you can see, you would have seen it better on at the beginning of the vlog but this just showed a little bit more detail so you've obviously got the tie that like I said you could wrap it around the front, have it around the back or just take it off completely and then have like these panels just open and then as you can see this is the length of like how much of a difference it is between the front of the top and the back of the top um, and then just show you the back and this is just very plain at the back but yeah, this was definitely one of my favourite items of the day. And um, just show you how much this is. So it's an extra small and it was £69. It's kind of like a sweater material. So definitely more for those, you know, kind of chilly days that we get in England. Um, so very, so it'll be perfect for that. And then obviously I'm going to take it into autumn, winter as well. And I think this is going to be a piece that's going to last me quite a while because it's such good quality. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this one. Okay, so the next item that I bought in Under the Stories was this gorgeous, like, rusty, burnt orange coloured cami. Um, I'm really a sucker for these camis. They're just so easy to throw on. And again, like, I could wear a blazer over this. I could wear a leather jacket. I could just wear it on its own. But yeah, I'm really excited to just get this out for the summer and be wearing this. And I think it's just one of those pieces that is perfect to take on holiday with you as well. And it was £35. It's such good quality though. Like it feels so nice to touch, really like silky and soft. Um, the back of it is just plain. So I'll just show you the back. And then I think what's really great about this is that you do get like the adjustable straps i have bought cheaper versions of camis like this from say like topshop and they just don't have like that um the adjustments on the strap so sometimes they fall a little bit too far forwards um and i think that's just something that was missing so i'm very happy that the under the story ones do have that feature um it's the smallest thing but it really does make a difference so this is gonna fit really really nicely and yeah i'm very excited to wear this one Okay, so then lastly from H&M, obviously we had this blazer. Now, I did say that this was the only thing that I was buying from H&M and that was true until we were on our way to the till and Emily actually spotted this bag and to be honest with you, I just couldn't put it down, like I couldn't leave it. It just goes so nicely with the grey, like with the yellow strap. It's just such a nice contrast. Um, and then obviously you've just got the bag, which is plain black with a little silver ring detail. I even think because obviously of the way that the strap is attached to the bag, I feel like you could just put a plain black strap on that as well and just have it as like a full black bag. Um, but in terms of like the yellow popping out against the grey, absolutely love it. So I did pick up that bag as well. Um, but this is just such a classic blazer and something that's going to go with like so many things that are already in my wardrobe and just one of those items that you can throw on really easily. Um, so I did get this a little oversized, so both in a size 10 and as you can see it's £34.99. Now we were looking at other ones earlier in Arcat and they were a lot pricier, like they were over £100. The quality of them was amazing, but to be honest, the £35, like this one, is really, really great. Um, and it's got some really nice features, like you've got 
black buttons on the sleeves and um, you've got the two pockets at the front and what I really liked about it was the fact that there's not too much bulk in the shoulder as well um because I'm really not a fan of like too much of a shoulder pad so yeah this was definitely a good find at the end of the shopping trip so I'm very happy with this one and I'm sure we got lots of use out of this bag as well hi guys so as you've seen I was filming the outro um I actually got interrupted and I was meant to go back and actually finish speaking to you guys but I just totally forgot about it so it is the next day um if you're wondering what that outfit changes for um but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video um let us know down below if you actually like seeing this style of video so you might not necessarily be from Liverpool but if you're interested in seeing like the current things that are in stock in the stores that we have here um, then let us know if that's something that you are interested in and if you haven't already subscribed then please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment some lovely little comments down below for us and I will see you in the next one. Bye!